Hello, so here is the problem that I'm having calculating the tax uh, on shipping. Um, the subtotal, $499.98. Now before we add shipping, if it's just free, if it's just pickup, then the tax is, uh, or customer pickup and no shipping, then the QST and GST gets calculated correct, correctly. Um, if I add uh, shipping from the CAMPAR, it will add a line here, which I had as HST on Ontario, but I just changed it to test. I changed all the HSTs to test, and I saw it was pulling it from Ontario. Um, it's not using this rate, however. It's using the QST. <clears throat> so it's using the QST. So this is actually QST that it's adding here, and then the GST uh, which is two dollars roughly should be added here but it's not showing anywhere so we get a correct total but it's adding a line item here pulling it from Ontario and it's not calculating the QST and GST correctly so this price plus the shipping plus this test two plus QST plus GST equals six hundred and nineteen dollars so the two dollars GST isn't even showing here so that is the problem that I'm having. And if you see um, another example here, um, if we calculate shipping based on local pickup, uh, let's see, I'm going to calculate. You'll see that the uh, free shipping, so there's no um, can par. Um, the QST and GST is calculated correctly. But if we add some shipping, it pulls in an HST, which um, this is on my development server here, but um, it was just test. It's just coming from the Ontario, Ontario um, rate matrix here. This is coming from here. It's pulling this name, this tax name for some reason. Um, but uh, the QST uh, rate I'm not sure how that's happening, but uh, I'm assuming I've whittled it down to the CANPAR plugin. So hopefully you guys can help me out with this. Um, thank you very much.